City by the Lake for the flagship city open at East Way Lane. It's a winter wonderland outside, plenty of warmth inside, one of the largest crowds of the year here in Erie, Pennsylvania, awaiting the start of the flagship open championship. Hello again, I'm Chris Seichel. Nice to be back in this part of Pennsylvania where the snow is knee deep. And we have knee deep bowlers here too. There, it's a great field. 23 total titles. Get that. So here we go with the introduction of our four finalists, and then you'll meet the King of the Hill as well. In our first match, Open Masters and Firestone champion Dell Ballard Jr. of Richardson, Texas, is back. He's going against George Branham III of Indianapolis, Indiana. The winner of that game will bowl Walter Ray Williams Jr., making his third TV finals this year. And in search of his second title this year, John Mazza of Mount Clemens, Michigan. And the newly crowned champion will go against this man, Ron Williams. He's in search of his third consecutive King of the Hill crown. And here's Bo to tell us a little bit about what's happened thus far, and especially last week. Hi, Bo. You're right, Chris. And last week was a very exciting, unusual tournament as we've gone halfway through the season. And uh, this week, obviously, there's a little bit of a change. The, the oiliest lanes we've seen all year long, a little bit lower scoring environment than we've seen all year long. However, Chris, we've produced what I feel is the strongest finals field today, some super champions in the field, and, and obviously a much better prize fund than we had last year. So let's take a look at that. It is. It's a $150,000 total with 30000 going to the winner, uh, 16000 for second, 8000 for third, and fourth is 6500 So uh, last week, plenty of excitement, a few mishaps along the way, a lot of strikes, a lot of good bowling. Had an Erie, Pennsylvania champion. The national champion current is Ron Columbi. And we're happy to report that heart surgery performed on the, the 22 month old uh, son of his fiance. Uh, Angel Dean was successful in Pittsburgh. So here now is George Branham III, Indianapolis, Indiana. First shot on the left lane. the deck, the glistening deck of the lanes here, Bo. Well, Chris, they uh, had wood lanes here the first two years we bowled at Eastway Lanes, and they've switched to uh, synthetics, uh, however, once again produced a very strong finals field. 11-time champion, disappointed, bringing the 10 pin. Del Ballard with one of the great styles in the game of bowling, holds the ball low. The thing to concentrate on for Dell is to keep that head steady and get down on the approach, stay low, and drive straight on through the shot. All right. Dell had a little mishap this week, slipped on the ice in a nearby parking lot. Went to a doctor Tuesday to check out uh, his back, and he said he's improving each day, and obviously so. He made the final field of four. Tell Ballard with a very conventional style. He's going to stand right around the middle. He's going to slide towards the center. He's going to be right around the second arrow. Dell is wired, uh, wireless microphone, so you'll hear his comments as we have each week when our King of the Hill, Ron Williams, has performed. He'll be up last on our live telecast today. Now, George Branham, we'd like to meet him. He'd have to win three games in the championship to do that. Big double. Oh, he's looking tough. You're right, Chris. He has a style very similar to uh, Del Ballard. They both start in the low profile, both five-step deliveries, steady head, and at the top of the swing, there's tremendous similarities, but look at the power of George Brand. I mean, he's in perfect position. He's got the real strong wrist and a good, strong uplift. When you see George lifting underneath the ball and not around it, he's at his best. Come on! Oh. 
Jeez. Yeah, that's what I... After two strikes, he has this reactive resin ball hooking very sharply as it nears the 1-3. Shows no respect to the five pin and hooks right by the five. Instead of the ball deflecting into the nine, he leaves a solid nine. Bad break. And he continues to mark here in our very first match. The, the key for Ballard is to get the ball right about in this area, and that's his break point towards the pocket. And now Bell Ballard leads by one pin. He struggled so far in 1993 and has not hesitated to ask for outside help. Well, a lot of people have uh, made suggestions to me saying, you know, I'm rearing up at the line a little bit, not keeping my head as level. And I went to Billy Hall, my, the guy that helps me with my game, and I said, what can I do to alleviate some of the problem? He says, you're lifting the ball too hard. Uh, pitch your fingers away a little bit, and uh, you won't get, get quite as much lift on the ball. It'll help you stay down the line a little bit. Light hips, sliding by. All right, and away. Just because he says the seven pin, Chris, and what he said in his interview uh, kind of ties in with today's Choice Hotel Bowling Tip of the Week uh, about changing the pitches in the finger holes and ball. It shows how it can affect your bowling ball. So Ballard has made some changes. You see his full grip with less pitch in the fingers. That way he doesn't snap the ball so much. Pretty easy spare here. All right. Okay. An all even first game here in Erie. This beacon of light here in Erie, Pennsylvania is a landmark and a little snow as well, right? Hey, in Campbell, California, let's see what makes Ace the place. Good old-fashioned service. And right now, this durable 18-inch garage sweep is only $4.88. Plus, get Ace 5-star flat latex wall paint for just $7.77 a gallon. Hey, Ace is America's place for helpful service. Here's where Elka Seltzer Plus fights tough colds with tough congestion, tough aches, tough sore throat. This is why you need a tough medicine. Alka Seltzer Plus cold medicine. The leading cold pill only relieves congestion. But Alka Seltzer Plus relieves congestion, sore throat, Sneezing, body aches, that's tough medicine. You bet it's tough. Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine. It's tough medicine. For a cold with a cough, try Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough medicine. Burt Reynolds talks with the Quaker State team. Hold on. I got to get my name on the car or my fans are getting restless. No room. How about on the big Q? The big Q stands alone. Stands for quality. You can't get better protection. No other oil beats Quaker State. How about right here? No way. Red doesn't like to be crowded. My fans are getting demanding. All right. We'll go get the painter. <laughs> they must have had a hard time finding the painter. Nothing beats Quaker State. It's one tough motor oil. Once you discover that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes have always been fat-free, you may find they taste even better. Mm. <laughs> fat-free Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're great! We are all even here in Erie. George Branham, his break point's right about here, 45 feet down the lane. That's the key spot. He has to go right through where that X is, and he'll be in the pocket. George had a spare working. He's a two-time champion. He says he's tired of being a spectator on Saturday afternoons. Well, I've been out here nine years, and I had success early in my career. And now that I feel like I'm strong enough and physically and mentally ready to win, I just want to get out there and, and go at it. I know that my game is strong, just like the rest of these guys out here. And it's, it's about time. Strong average in match play of 218. Striking, but you know, he had that great average, but he had trouble. He, he won 10 and lost 14. Well, it's a combination of match play and mental play as we bowled 42 games uh, in 24 match play, but George Branham, a strong player, and he proved it on that last shot. Come on. Ah, that's nice. Ballard through five frames looking awfully good. Solid 10, double, swish and seven, solid 10, up with another ball. Cross lane, convert the spear. He would be trailing by 11. 
Checking out his sliding point at the line, sticking just a bit. I wanted to make sure. That was on the right side. Now he moves over to the left. He, this week, he uh, dedicated his performance to his grandmother, Avis, who turned 85 March 1st. Many more, Avis. Good critique of his own game there, Chris, is uh, mm -hmm. he was pretty much where he wanted to be with the ball, but he was too soft as you see the break point, and he breaks up the 4-7-10 split, the 10 pin just barely falling out. However, that won't bother Dell as he got a good break. His opponent is 30-year-old George Branham, originally from California, now bowling out of Indianapolis, last won the AC Delco when it was played at Union City, California, 1987. Three in a row, and his wife Jackie loves it. George Branham showing that new strength he's had. He's really been working on the heavy weights lately, working a lot on the bench press, a lot on the squat. And he's got that ball on the upswing. Now, he's in a pretty standard position here. He'll slide here. His target will be around the second arrow. But the key for George is to catch it on the upstrike, just like curling a barbell. Four pin. Searching for a 33-pin lead because he had a three-bagger. This has been a week of keeping the ball in place. The, the scores were a little bit lower this week. It took around a two 08 average to uh, to make some money this week. However, making spares and filling the frames were the most important things. We're in Erie, where Lake Erie is frozen, but that, you know, doesn't stop the local sports fishermen. Watch. Now people are feeling shower fresh in a surprising new way. Shower to shower each day. Uh, Once keep odor away. Introducing shower to shower antiperspirant. Shower to shower each day. Helps keep wetness away. We've combined the most effective anti-wetness ingredient with cornstarch to keep you feeling fresh and dry all day. Shower freshness all day. New shower to shower antiperspirant. Well, we're almost there. Yeah, three years of digging and digging. But soon, the first taste of freedom. Here we are. Push! What'll it be, boys? Two Bud Lights, please. Sorry, fellas, but we're all out. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. You know, Larry, we really should carry more Bud Light. It's one of the greatest heavyweight title fights in boxing history. Now see the network premiere of the Poe Holyfield War, next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Here's a battler, Del Ballard. Right hand lane, the tighter of the two lanes. Dell, a little soft with that shot, goes high. The 410, he's quickly up. He needs to get the ball to the left of the four pin and try to slide it into the 10. All right. On the approach, our interviewer today, a PBA national champion, Randy Peterson. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. And with me is Walter Ray Williams. And Walter, this week you played the rail all week, and George and Dell look like they're playing closer to second arrow. Does this change your strategy at all? Well, in the practice session, I wasn't real crazy about my outside shots, so I might be playing a little more inside with a little more hook than I planned. He's going to take dead aim. Back to you guys. Two native Californians, Randy Peterson and Walter Bay and Del Ballard, finally gets a strike in the eighth frame, Bo. A takeoff of what uh, Randy Peterson had to say, uh, George Branham s steps off the approach, just a little disturbance to the right. And George is playing the right-hand lane closer to the edge or closer to the gutter. It's the slicker of the two lanes, and when you notice when he comes up on the left-hand lane, he'll be more down the center. Let's watch his action as he's 35 pins ahead, eighth frame. Powerful bowling ball. 
Next Saturday, we'll begin the East Coast swing of this year's tour as we'll roll into Maryland for the Baltimore Open. We'll see if Bob Learn Jr. can defend his title next week. Three Eastern and Pacific, two Central on ABC Sports. Now we'll watch Branham up in the ninth frame. He can lock up the match with a strike, playing a more inside line on the lane that's hooking more. Good lesson here. And once another, a good shot. Really only two mistakes by Del Ballard so far in the match. He was a little soft in the sixth and seventh frames going high. One frame, the 4-7, he converted the spear of the 4-10 in the seventh. However, strikes in the ninth and tenth have given him an outside shot to win the match. If he can strike two more times, he'd finish in the 220s for George Branham to get a good count. and a low point for Dell. You're right, Chris. And that is the mistake he's been making, in my opinion, all year long. He raised up at the line before he released the ball. He can't win this match. However, he's back on the track. He'll be sharp in the next few weeks. There's a man that won four in 1991. He won the U.S. Open in 87, the Masters in 88, Firestone in 89. Great champion. Go to 198 for Dell Ballard. Listen to this crowd. Smoothing uh, the loser of the match. Possible 258 for George Branham. Zeroed in to near perfection here in our very first match. And the winner, of course, will meet Walter Ray Williams. And then the tournament leader waits that game winner, John Mazza, and the king of the hill. Branham with both a physical victory and a cerebral victory here. He kind of outfigured Del Ballard by playing the left lane inside, the right lane on the extreme outside, and has made all good shots as he'll be in the 250s. All right, a big 258. And it'll be Walter Ray Williams' ABC Sports presentation. We'll continue after this message and a word from our stations. Around the turn of the century, in a small Detroit carriage shop, Harvey Firestone met a fellow young inventor named Henry Ford. Firestone tires have been seen almost everywhere ever since. On Fords, Chevrolets, tractors, trucks, Indy Lights, and Saturns. Firestone, America's tire since 1900. What do you smell? I can't smell anything. My nose is clogged, yeah. For fast relief, try Dristan 12-hour nasal spray. Now smell. It's an orange. Dristan nasal spray just works incredibly fast. Dristan, the face of relief today. When a top-notch mechanic reaches back and picks a tool out of his toolbox, he can tell right then if it's got the quality or not. Craftsman hand tools, made in America, guaranteed forever. If any tool is ever made better, it'd have to be made by Craftsman. Sunday, right after 60 Minutes, turn to a new program from ABC News. Day One with Forrest Sawyer premieres Sunday at 8, 7 Central. You're about to see the power of subliminal advertising. Now, can you name bowling's hookingest and bashingest ball? It's the Rhino Pro Line in several distinctive urethane formulations to improve any game. Catch the Rhino Pro at one of these official Rhino Pro Shops. When will the lilac 
The Lilac City Tournament in Rochester, New York is paying out $1 million this year. Join us as we celebrate our 25th year. After the high-paying men's team event. The women's team event. And the mixed team event. Win with the Lilac. There's 18 great events. With, with doubles, singles, and, and four new super, super singles, singles events. events. We plan to pay out $1 million. Call 1-800-36-LILAC now. Win with the Lilac. Rob Dixon has the forecast tonight on 27 News. The Professional Bowlers Tour. Brought to you by MasterCard. MasterCard, it's more than a credit card. It's smart money. By Fruit of the Loom. Clothes for the best of your life. And by Calcium Rich Tums. Tums helps wipe out heartburn and gives you calcium. The gleaming lanes here in Erie, Pennsylvania. For George Branham III, 10 strikes, 258 to Del Ballard's 198. By virtue of the win, it's Walter Ray Williams Jr. who steps in as George's opponent. Walter Ray, third straight flagship city open that he's been in. We've only been here three years. He has a fourth and a second. So George is shooting first. <laughs> just completely got away from him and uh, paid a dividend as he crossed over and got a strike to start the match against Deadeye. Almost the type of shot that had him win five world horseshoe pitching championships. The man who is uh, recognized as the most versatile player on the PBA Tour in perfect position here. And the key is watch that left arm pull back as his head comes up through the target, stays right on the target, and the high follow through. Gets a good break, though, in the first frame with a strike. Mm -hmm. Second frame, George Branham to tie. Six ten. George awfully sharp in the first ten frames, and right now he's in a little bit of trouble. As you see his ball coming down in this area, and he wants to get it right here. However, he got the ball inside of the target, and it goes high once again. Six ten across lane needs some ball speed. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, Quaker State Professional Boxing presents the network television premiere of one of the greatest title fights in recent boxing history. Riddick Bowe, Evander Holyfield Heavyweight War, plus the Santa Anita Handicap, live, and we'll also head to Alaska for the start of the Adidorod. Okay, what a show. Fair strike in the opening of his second game this afternoon after shooting a 258, George Branham the third. Now, 6'2, 180 pounds, 33 years old, double working. Walter Ray Williams Jr. has been in the championship round here in Erie for three consecutive years. Here's why. Well, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe it's uh, the pink carry here just favors my role. Um, and I think part of it's a crowd. I got a great crowd here. They treat us great here in Erie. It's, it's really nice to be treated like professional bowlers, and it, it really makes it feel good. Disbelief, a 10 pin on the left lane. And he made a remark about the pin carry. He paid dividends in the first frame when he carried a wall shot. However, the solid 10 here is the six, the second pin on the right-hand part of the screen flies around the 10 pin. There were not many taps here as we're going on a synthetic lane surface this week.
We're in Erie, so we want you to see a quick glance at downtown Erie. Hello. You know those credit card commercials where they tell you to jaunt off to someplace with crystal clear water and really strange fruit? Don't bother packing because you can charge everything once you get there. This isn't one of them, okay? Any decent credit card can do that. We're taking our MasterCard to the supermarket. How's that for exotic? Well, now that you mention it, I guess it is kind of exotic. I mean, you've got a MasterCard, they've got the fruit, right? What's a kumquat? Whatever it is, they're five or a quarter. You want crystal clear water? They have aisles of it. And now, no card is more accepted on the planet, including supermarkets. So you don't have to worry about exact change, or losing your receipt, or whether you even remember to record how much your check was for in the first place. It's just another smart way you can use your MasterCard. Only when you get your statement, you don't have a conniption. You just have a record of your grocery spending for the month. And a couple kumquats. MasterCard. It's more than a credit card. It's smart money. What's the best thing about the Baltimore Open? The competition? The money. The crab cakes. Baltimore becomes Baltimore. Next Saturday on ABC's Pro Bowlers Tour. Ah, yes. Crab cakes in Baltimore. Can't wait to get there. Bob Learn Jr. is the defending champion. He's one of the two Erie bowlers. The other, Ron Palumbi. Ron pulled out. Bob finished in the top 24. First split today now for George Brown. George just really wide with that shot. He sends it out to the very edge board, and the ball does not quite finish. He leaves the 1, 2, 10. Needs to get the ball between the 1 and 2, drive the head pin into the 10. And if he converts that, he will continue to trail by 19. Okay, he's from Santa Maria, California, bowls out of Hollywood, Florida, our friend Randy Peterson. Thanks. Johnny, you know you've always been kind of a fidgety guy out here. I've known you for years. You tug on the pants a couple of times, pat the rosin bag a couple hundred times. You ever thought about chewing gum? Randy, could you imagine me chewing gum, tapping the rosin bag and hitching my pants? I think two is okay, but three would be unacceptable. Yeah, I think you're right. Chris? That's a great pair, right? That was a great strike. Uh, George Branham the third. Walter Ray, last one in Japan. Here we have the averages. And you see we have one, two, and four still remaining in the tournament. Maz is our tournament leader. Ron Williams, our king of the hill, will play the winner of this tournament. And Williams with a great prize fund. And Maza, who has our tournament leader, already has one victory under his belt, 52,000, the true value open. Now Walter Ray Williams leads by 31, can make it 41. Dedon likes that, and he makes it mandatory that George Branham start throwing some strikes. Chris, pretty easy to mm. see from here that George has slowed up between the first and second games. He had good, firm speed the first game as he shot 258. Now he seems like he's trying to aim the ball against Walter Ray Williams, and it's wandering on the lanes. It's mandatory in the sport of bowling to keep a consistent speed to hold that line. Just did cover those three pounds. George Branham III won the Southern California Junior Bowler of the Year title in 1983. Quite an athlete. All-around athlete, high school basketball and football player, was recruited by one high school to transfer to catch passes for John Elway. This man can do it all right now. He needs to throw strikes to get back in the match. Five nine. 
Well, we saw him in the first game giving the left-hand room a plenty of left-hand lane, plenty of room, and here he's going very direct. Watch the trajectory of the ball, almost straight over the second arrow. He was sending out between the first and second arrows. The first game has seemed to lose the combination on the pair. Once again, the left lane 27 hooks much more than the right lane 28. During match play, he and Walter had quite a match. Williams winning at 257, 234. When our second game, we'll return after this. uses an aluminum salt. These two use aluminum and magnesium. Of all these, only Tums helps wipe out heartburn and gives you calcium you need every day. Something my body needs anyway. I like that. For heartburn plus gas, Tums makes an anti-gas and acid too. If there's anyone who can appreciate the Comfort Loom waistband, it's Riddick Bow. Here, Daddy. Thanks, Junior. Fruit of the Loom has woven thousands of softness fibers into a cushion of comfort so gentle on the skin, you can barely feel it. Feel better now, Daddy? Was better than the other guy, Junior. Comfort Loom from Fruit of the Loom. Clothes for the best of your life. It's one of the greatest heavyweight title fights in boxing history. Now see the network premiere of the Poe Holyfield War, next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Yes, the network premiere. Next, one world of sports. Good battle here. This is the later you're looking at. We've always said he looked like a young Errol Flynn. Well, he's from Pomona, California. Seven pin for Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Walter Ray doing exactly what got him here, keeping the ball in play. He's had seven shots, all have been around the pocket, five strikes here. He's a little wide and a little soft. He does not rip the five into the seven. However, he's left himself an easy spare to maintain his 42-pin lead. Right. And if I didn't say Walter Ray Williams Jr. was from Stockton, California, I'd be in deep trouble. <laughs> Paige Pennington, Walter's fiance. Helping him collect art. Walter Ray going at a 228 pace. George Branham off the sheet, as we say, would be 216. So Walter needs to fill the frames. Landscape art. The landscape of the bowling lane doesn't look that great, Bo, with that sleeper eight, huh? Not right now, Chris. The the 2-8 uh, is a tough spare here. He needs to get the ball in this area and drive the ball right back into the 8-pin. However, this has been a tough spare for players all week long. Seems like a very determined Walter Ray today. I agree with you, Chris. I think it's worked on his mind that he has, been, has gone 27 championship rounds without a victory here on United States soil. His only victory in 28 championship rounds was in Japan a few years back. Game, 258 to 198. Tomorrow on ABC Sports, Pizza Hut College Basketball presents doubleheader action. First at 130 Eastern, 1030 a.m. Pacific. Many of you will see one of the game's biggest showdowns as Duke meets North Carolina, ranked number one. What a rivalry. Or the regional games. Game two, Kentucky battles Florida, Stanford hosts Arizona, and Kansas takes on Oklahoma State. Brennan. Check for the time and station in your area for basketball action. You see that Arizona game tomorrow. A little side note for the Branham family. George Branham's brother, Richard, who is six feet five, three inches tall, plays for the University of California, and they upset Arizona last week. So athletics are in the Branham family. Disaster. 
Branham, who is out of the match, kind of uh, just chucks this one away. The 3610, he slides by it. George, possible 184, but he's had a good week. He's going to finish third. His game is back on track right now. Walter Ray in the driver's seat. And third for George is worth um, $8,000. Well, we've had a little more demanding lane condition this week in week nine of the 1993 season. And what remains left in this tournament are the one, two, and four average bowlers on the PBA Tour. Seems like spear making, adjustments, and strikes have been the story of the tournament. Doubling here in the final stages of his first match, second of our telecast, with the championship match coming up. And John Massa, as the tournament leader, is the only lefty in our field. And I might add, the past two flagships that he opens have been won by left-handers. Standing tall, beautiful form, though, as you pointed out, Walter Ray Williams, Jr. He'll be in the 240s, Chris, and our first winner here at the flagship open was just Stay Rook, who uh, didn't show up for his second round Thursday. He kind of had a problem with the alarm clock and was with, didn't, didn't uh, come to the tournament. And Eric Forkel, the defending champion, a lefty, finished 20th. for a big 246. That's good to say that George did come back and strike. George Branham, who has a neat autograph, GB3 is number one. However, GB3 is going to be number three today, but there's a real winner there, and he's just on the tip of really breaking out into a big career. <laughs> Random refocused, redetermined, and in top physical condition has a great year in front of him. One eighty four for George Branham. This week, Choice Hotels International's Tip of the Week features advice about grips from Les Zykes. ABC Sports presents a winning never gets old bowling tip sponsored by Choice Hotels International. Here's bowling great Dick Weather. As we get older, many of us suffer from loss of hand strength. Today I'm with Les Zykes, American Bowling Congress Hall of Famer. Les, what recommendations do you have to help this problem? Well, Dick, if over the years we've been using the fingertip uh, grip, that's where the fingers go into the first joint, we might want to shorten up and go to what we call a semi-grip. That's where the fingers go between the first and second joint. Or we may want to go back to a conventional grip. That's where the fingers go all the way up to the second joint. The other thing we can do is with the pitches. The whole drill straight in is a zero pitch. A normal pitch for us is if the finger's in and the thumb back. Now, if you're having trouble holding the ball, you may want to pitch the thumb in like a suitcase handle grip and use that. So taking a tip from Les, consult your local pro for the best grip to help you. Because remember, winning never gets old. Look for more ABC Sports Winning Never Gets Old bowling tips. Sponsored by Choice Hotels International. There are gut balls and gutter balls. And sometimes, the trophy falls. But no matter what, you'll love the bowlers who have it all on ABC Sports Home Video, Bowling the Perfect Game. Call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR to order bowling's colorful history. Narrated by Chris Shankle and Nelson Burton Jr. This collector's home video can be yours to enjoy for only $14.98 plus $3.95 shipping. That's 1-800-4-ABC-VCR. You know, I'm always teaching bowlers how to put fingers into the shot, not just the ball. But you can also use your fingers to save money. If you're 50 or over, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE, and you can save 30% at choice hotels like quality, comfort, clarion, and sleep. 
30%. Now that's what I call aiming for the pocket. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at any of the seven brands in the Choice Hotels family. Fixing up the place? Here's an idea. Get a new Ford Citibank Visa card. And by the time you've bought the curtains, and the sofa, and the rugs, 5% will go towards a new Ford or Lincoln or Mercury. You could earn a rebate of up to $3,500 faster than any other basic auto rebate card. So you can get something that really hauls, or something that really hauls. The new Ford Citibank Visa. Now isn't that a better idea? I'm on my way to Atlanta, Georgia, to see what makes Ace the place. It's got to be the values, John. Like a heavy-duty Rubbermaid laundry basket for just $2.88, and this Ace 34-gallon wheel trash can for only $9.77. Hey, Ace is America's place for better values. Preferred stock cologne from Stetson. What preferred men prefer. Come on, stop. I'm begging you. I mean, what is this? Not just one plain flake, but count them. I'm overwhelmed. Why? All right, so I'm doing a 180 here. It's simple. That's good. The crunches. Yeah, I could go for them. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. You know you're killing me, right? Kellogg's Corn Flakes. <laughs> Funny guy. Taste them again for the first time. Yes, the third flagship city open. First match, George Branham. The third, with 10 strikes, defeated Del Ballard, 258-198. In comes Walter Ray Williams, Jr., and defeats Branham, 246, nine strikes, and 184. So now we get to the championship match of this event with John Mazza, the tournament leader, going against Williams for the $30,000 first prize. Here is a junior pro-am winner, eight-year-old Stephanie Warren, her parents, Nancy and George Warren, are the proprietors here and are hosts in Erie, Pennsylvania. And she cute? Can bowl, too. You bet, Chris. A average field here, 160 players. Average game for the whole field, 202, 211 to make the top 24. 53 players cashed. Voss, who you see right there, just missed the top four for the second consecutive week. Albee, great player in ninth place. Bob Learn, the local favorite, filled in for Ron Palumbi, who finished second in the qualifying. It's Pete Weber in there. Furpo, a good week, taking off next week. Our guest announcer, Randy Peterson, bowler of the year, Dave Ferraro. The defending champion, Eric Forkel, Joe Baca, his dad, Sam, has to be proud. Joe Delp and Ricky Ward round out the top 24. Chris and some exciting weeks coming up in the next two weeks on the PBA Tour. Yes, we head for one of my favorite cities, Baltimore, Maryland, for the Baltimore Open. And then two weeks from today, we go to North Brunswick, New Jersey, New Jersey, and Johnny Petraglia will be hosting that event worth $170,000. So now the handshake for the championship match, flagship city open, John Mazza, Walter Ray Williams, Jr. 30 to the winner, 16 to the runner-up. The winner goes then against... Ron Williams, our king of the hill. Three six on a high hit. Come on, get it back. Too slow, get it back. That's what he said. Pay attention out there. Cross lane, the man voted the best spare shooter on the tour for the three six. He uses a hard ball to slide across the lane. Very little roll, dead accuracy. So it's a spare for the last game winner. Now, first look today, colorful 29-year-old John Mazza on Clemens, Michigan, the left-hander. This is your true value, open winner at Landmark Lanes in Peoria this year. John Mazza's can become a perennial winner out here on the PBA Tour has an ideal style. One thing, he opens his hand on the backswing. Now here he learns to cock his wrist. He got more power there. He started doing that in 1991, and that's when he became a winner. Then he rotates that wrist around the ball, and wow, what a great strike to start the opening championship match. Average 249 in two games on this championship pair. Waving the fans down the lanes parallel to 
the opposite lanes here and about a thousand bowling fans looking on. Well, we can see what you're doing, Walter Ray Williams Jr. from the announce booth at Vicksbury. So he needs to get the ball in this area, and he's going to be inside of it with his ball tra trajectory as he goes high for the 3, 6, 9, 10. And this has been a very difficult spare this week. And the reason it's so tough is the PBA has kind of oil strip the lanes. There's three different strips on the lane of oil, dry, oil, dry. And you have to go right down the edge to make that spare. Walter Ray did that. Now look at his positions right here. He'll slide around the center in between the first and second arrows. He needs to pick up that ball speed. That's the only problem he had in the first two frames. All right. Wow. Now, he's smart enough to know that the lanes didn't change that much while waiting a, a few minutes to run down the top 24. So he has to look and say, what am I doing wrong? Take a lesson from what happened to George Branham. You've got to increase that speed and send it to the right. Graduate of Cal Poly in Pomona. Degree in physics, a minor in math. Walter Ray trying to figure it out. Mazza using a little more than half the approach. The seven pin, and he had the scout coming across the head pin off the sideboard, but we didn't see much of that this week because the lane conditions were much slicker, and without with the lanes being slick, you can't throw as hard. When you don't throw as hard, the pin action's not quite as fast, and thereby the head pin doesn't make it to the seven. John Maz's recent success has led to other ventures outside of bowling. Well, Nelson, I went to work for Fox 50. It's a local affiliate station in Detroit, and we did six tapings of a local bowling show. It's an amateur bowling tournament, mixed doubles, and uh, had a lot of fun. I'm not Nelson Burton Jr., but I did the best I could do. Well, there's only one Nelson Burton Jr. <laughs> well, thank you, John Mazza and Chris Schenkel. However, I can't quite throw a bowling ball like John Mazza as he is one of the top players in the world today, has a 14-pin lead over Walter Ray Williams Jr. in the championship match. Like that. He plays the crowd. John Mazza in the championship match with Williams. Aries. Glass Grower's Gallery, located in a converted church, is holding an exclusive show illustrating how quilt making has moved beyond concepts of traditional quilting toward experimentation and development as an art form. Good for them. Hey, what it's got here, True Value, with my friend Pat Summerall. And we're asking shoppers what they like best about True Value. Is it personal service? Or low prices. True Value is much better quality, much better prices, even in discount places. They always greet me at the door. And, yeah. you th and the prices are good. You oh, yeah. I like it for the price and the values that, uh, that's here. For personal service. And low prices, bring your family to ours. The True Value family of stores. You look for that one store and you trust it, and that's where you go. Ninjas do two things very well. They react. And. They attack. Nothing blows them away like a ninja. The AMF Ninja, available today. In Erie, Pennsylvania, our leader in the championship match by 14 pens is from Mount Clemens, Michigan, John Mazza. From Stockton, California's opponent, Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Spare up the fourth frame. Okay, let's go to our announcer, our bowler, our handsome young man from California, Randy Peterson. 
Thanks, Chris. Ronnie, a couple weeks ago, you beat Erie's Bob Learn Jr. in Cleveland. The next week, you beat Erie's Ron Plumby Jr. in Toledo. Any chance of leaving Erie alive? Uh, I thought that when I got here, Randy, but uh, the fans have been pretty receptive, and I don't need a, a police escort out of town this week. I think I'll be all right. Good Thanks. luck, buddy. <laughs> He is a wonderful king of the hill. Ron Williams, and he will meet the winner of this game. Tribute to Walter Ray Williams Jr. here. I mean, it looked like he's been being beaten to death this game, and he only trails by four pins as he converted difficult spares in the first three frames and then doubled up. What do we do here, Nelson? Boy, oh boy, as uh, John Mazza just sends it too wide, he leaves the 3-7 split. For Mazza, he needs to get the ball to the right of the three pin and drive that three into the seven. If he does not convert the split, he will be trailing through five frames. Oh, what is, why does a 3-7 look more awesome than a 2-10? <laughs> Well, we're not used to seeing the lefties, Chris. The 3-7 as they go across lane. Look what's happening on ABC Sports tomorrow. Pizza Hut College basketball. Double header. First, 1.30 Eastern, 10.30 Pacific. Game's biggest showdown to date. Duke meets ACC rival, number one, North Carolina. Other regional games. Game two, Kentucky battles Florida. Stanford hosts Arizona. John Mazza leaves a seven pin. Kansas takes on Oklahoma State. So check for the game in your area tomorrow. ABC Sports. Wide World follows us today. That's variety. Ooh. See the angle of John Mozzie's just between the first and second arrows on the left, sending the ball very wide, very soft, about 16, 17 miles an hour. He's just not popping the corner pins. We're near Pennsylvania, where one of our officials of our ABC affiliate here told me that the Professional Bowlers Tour telecast gets a larger share than Roseanne. Who's Roseanne? <laughs> oh, my God. Who's Tom? <laughs> That's Walter Ray Williams, also of California. I tell you, Walter Ray may have just won the tournament on this shot. He's a little bit too soft. This is two mistakes being a positive. Two negatives, a positive right here. He sends it too wide, too soft. Gets the wall shot. Remember in his interview, he said he bowled well here because he carries well here. Well, he just proved it now. He needs to jump on that shot, take a 28-pin lead if he's going to break that victory drop. Imagine 13-second place finishes. Well, he gave John Maz a new life there because after he got that break, Maz knew that Williams got a break, and Walter Ray was a little bit tentative again as he came up in the seventh frame. He'll make the spare and lead by 17, but that's not 28. This is the one game head to head match for the championship. More of it after this. the century in a small Detroit carriage shop, Harvey Firestone met a fellow young inventor named Henry Ford. Firestone tires have been seen almost everywhere ever since. On Fords, Chevrolets, tractors, trucks, Indy Lights, and Saturns. Firestone, America's tire since 1900. What's the best thing about the Baltimore Open? The competition? The money. The crab cakes. Baltimore becomes Baltimore. Next Saturday on ABC's Pro Bowlers Tour. The King in Red is practicing. 
King of the Hill, Ron Williams, Fort Worth, Texas, waiting to meet the winner of this flagship city open championship. John Mazza was the opponent, Walter Ray Williams, 1991, when Walter Ray won the Japan Cup. Nelson, two, oh. two, how can we have two in three frames? You're right, partner. You said this looks like a, a much more difficult spare for a left-hander. However, Mazza's had one shot at it. He needs to get that ball over to the right of the three-pin and drive the three-pin right into the seven. Doesn't do it. Two right. times in a row. Yes. Disappointment for John Mazza. One of the many likable young men and he certainly is married to a lovely young lady, Leslie Ann, who is the mom of four-and-a-half-month-old Anthony. John Mazza, who has not really changed his trajectory However, he has changed balls and has made some adjustment. However, Walter Ray in good position. Walter Ray gets to get the ball right in this zone. If he does, he will increase his lead by 30 to 30 pins. Thirty thousand to the winner of this match. Sixteen for second. The winner then will meet Ron Williams, King of the Hill. Ron has a chance today, if he can win, to pick up a $10,000 bonus plus the five to the winner. All right, let's set up the last two frames. Ninth and tenth frames championship match of the third year, uh, third year he opened. Simply this, Walter Ray, if he strikes out, would have, if he strikes Spears out, he'd have 213. John Moss, if he strikes out, would have 214. So it's up for grabs. Two frames left. Walter just keeping the ball in play. He's forcing Moss to throw strikes. Once again, as Chris mentioned, the last victory that Walter had was he defeating John Maz in Japan, 1991. Psychologically, he may remember that. However, Maz is a very aggressive player. If John Maz does not strike here in the ninth frame, he's had two open frames in the last two attempts, the fifth and seventh frames, he will not win the tournament. This is the big shot. What a day in Erie. You bet. And Walter Ray Williams Jr. looks to the scoreboard. He knows who won this match. Uh, I'm sure that uh, he feels a little bit sorry for Mazza, but he's back in the victory circle as Mazza leaves the third consecutive open. He has made that split. Here is when he did it. Winter Haven, Florida, 1991. However, this is 1993. The best Mazik in bowl is 182. The match is over. John Mazza with four championships. There will be more in the future. Walter Ray is going to be a tough opponent for Ron Williams, mm -hmm. the King of the Hill. Two similar styles, both very versatile players, very confident players, and the ability to adjust to all lane conditions. It, uh, two of them going head and head is going to be a great match. Nonetheless, a smile from our friend John. <laughs> He's great, isn't he? Well, what one lane can do to you in a, in a match game, John struck in the second frame on the left-hand lane, the fourth frame, he hit the pocket level seventh pin, he struck at the eighth, and then three here, possibly in the tenth. Yet he still only bowls 180. 181. 179. A tournament later, that one game match often is a downfall. There is a four-time champion, 
loves the people. They love him. Walter Ray now. to Walter Ray Williams Jr., the champion, really struggled the first three frames. What is it wasn't even close. He went high, 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 converted some tough spares, then he kept it all together in the last seven frames to win the championship. Here's a man that has won in Peoria, Baltimore, Edmond, Oklahoma twice, Miami, and Japan. And now here in Erie, he's had two thirds this year, a third at the Quaker State, Grand Prairie, and a third at Phoenix. for the victor. ABC Sports presentation of the Professional Bowlers Tour will return after this message and word from our ABC station, then the King of the Hill. If there's anyone who can appreciate the Comfort Loom waistband, it's Riddick Bow. Hey, Daddy. Thanks, Junior. Fruit of the Loom has woven thousands of softness fibers into a cushion of comfort so gentle on the skin, you can barely feel it. Feel better now, Daddy? Much better than the other guy, Junior. Comfort Loom from Fruit of the Loom. Clothes for the best of your life. Well, my father was really my mechanic uh, really all my life. The only tool he really knew was actually uh, Craftsman Tools. Craftsman Hand Tools. Made in America. Guaranteed forever. They've actually outlasted them. It looks like they're going to outlast me, too. What do you smell? I can't smell anything. My nose is clogged. Yeah. For fast relief, try Dristan 12-hour nasal spray. Now smell. It's an orange. Dristan nasal spray just works incredibly fast. Dristan, the face of relief today. Sunday, Tom Berenger. Charlie Sheen and Willem Dafoe. Oliver Stone's Oscar-winning epic, Platoon Sunday. The Pennsylvania Corps is young people working hard, taking a chance on themselves, finding out what it takes to make it in life through job training and education. Through the Pennsylvania Corps, you can provide a service right where you live. You'll work hard in parks, on public land, in community centers, wherever you're needed most. You'll earn an honest wage or get experience working with people who care about people. Contact your local Pennsylvania Job Center today or call this number. The Pennsylvania Corps, just typical everyday heroes. Harrisburg Copiers wants to say something that may shock you. Don't buy a copier, buy a copy for two and a half cents. With your two and a half cents copy, you'll also receive a Minolta High Productivity Copier, which includes a recirculating document feeder, automatic two-sided copying, and 20 bin sorter. Included in your two and a half cent copy, you'll also get toner, developer, service, everything you need to make a copy. So why buy a copier when you can get a copy for two and a half cents? You can only get your two and a half cents copy from Harrisburg Copiers, the innovators in copier technology. Call for information today. Carl Ravitch has the scores and more on 27 News. I'm Dan Deardorff in New York. We'll return to bowling in a moment. Today on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the Quaker State Professional Boxing Series presents a network television premiere of the World Championship fight between Riddick Bowe and Evander Holyfield, one of the greatest heavyweight fights of all time. And Riddick Bowe will join us live to analyze the fight. Plus the Santa Anita Handicap and same-day coverage of the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race. That's all coming up next at 4.30 Eastern Time on ABC's Wide World of Sports. We have a champion here at the Flag City Open. It started out with George Brenham III defeating Del Ballard Jr. 258 to 198. In the second match, Walter Ray Williams Jr. Defeats Branham, 246 to 184. In the title game, Walter Ray defeats the tournament leader, John Mazza of Michigan, 211 to 179, which as you see, sets up an old Williams boys, King of the Hill battle, 5,000 the winner for Ron Williams the King. Well, he's got another incentive. Walter Ray Williams with 30,000 today, Mazza 16, Branham eight, and Del Ballard Jr., 6,500. So I think the battle 
by the Williams boys will be exciting. It will be a good one, Chris. They match up well. They're both versatile ball players. A uh, little thing with Ron Williams. He finished 82nd in Peoria. He finished 82nd here. He made an adjustment. He won in the most exciting match in Peoria against Mazda. And we can see what Ron Williams has gotten there. He only lost to learn, and he regained his King of the Hill status. And if he wins today, he gets another bonus of $10,000. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think he's going to have his hands full once again with Walter Ray Williams Jr. Walter Ray is a type of player that's very difficult to beat. Okay, the handshake. So he's the number one money winner, Bo. Ancillary or extra incentive money. That's got to be a pretty good total up to now for Ron. Ron said uh, earlier that he was up in the uh, 200 grand mark. For Walter Ray Williams Jr., who is two years older than Ron Williams, it is a 10 pin. And you know, Bo, as you um, mentioned that total, it's about time professional bowlers have an opportunity to uh, make some money. Well, Chris, I think they've always made pretty good money, but it's uh, the escalation. Not good enough. <laughs> I agree, as being a bowler. However, the uh, the escalation of some of the other sports overshadows the uh, the steady good living that the top players do make on the professional bowlers tour. Now here comes the king, nine weeks in a row in the championship round. Here's a man that has a six and one record in King of Hill matches. 1-6, lost one with like a 225 that. average. Listen to him talk and watch his replay. The familiar style, the push away out to the right. Once again, the key, wrapping that ball back around into his body and driving straight through. Gets the ball well out over the foul line. He's very confident. This is a $15,000 match for him, 5000 for Walter Ray. And this is the key lane for Ron Williams. He struggled here in the practice balls. So it's a 4 7. Got lucky. Bad shot. Said he got lucky, bad shot. However, it wasn't quite that bad, as we've observed from our announce booth, Chris, that this mm -hmm. left-hand lane has been the lane that's made the difficulty for the right-handers. Put it up off spot. Both are wired for sound. Full grip by Walter Ray, just a conventional style with great athletic ability. As he leaves the 610. Mm. Man. You know, Walter goes back to what he said in his interview. He carries so well here. Well, here he's actually breaking up splits. That's part of carrying well. When you're having a bad week, you leave a 4-6 or 4-7-10 on a split like this, and yet he gets That's an easy spare. This is the King of the Hill match at East Way Lanes in Erie, Pennsylvania. Third year that we've been here, and Walter Way has broken up the left-handers' dominance in the first two flagships that he opens. Smoothest shot of the day. Deadeye with his first good shot of the match. Now with the spare up, shooting in the third frame. And the king slides by the pocket, leaving a 2-5. I practiced for an hour and a half last night, Friday night, with Ron Williams, and Chris, he struggled. He tried every ball. He tried different speeds. He just cannot seem to get the combination on these synthetic lanes here in Erie, Pennsylvania. He has his work cut out for him to stay on top of the hill. All right. And remember, this year he's won two titles. AC Delco, January 9th. Cleveland Open, February 20th. Ron Williams' success this year in the lanes has paid multiple dividends. Uh, as far as the, the money, it's been extremely wonderful. I've probably earned close to over two hundred thousand dollars this year, and at this point, my kids are getting ready to go get, graduate from high school, and I plan on using that money to send my boys to school, and that's that's the main goal. That's why I'm still bowling this year, and I'm going to be out here for a few more years till my kids get through school, and that's my main objective at this point. 
That may be his main objective long term. However, his main objective right now is to hit this championship here. He made an adjustment, uh, and he has to get the ball to the left of the head pin, but he made an adjustment on this lane by increasing his speed, and the ball just hydroplaned on his synthetic lanes and slid by the head pin. You don't see a pros miss a head pin very often. All right. This is the King of the Hill match. Walter Ray leading by four. Perry Square is one of Erie, Pennsylvania's favorite downtown meeting places. Burt Reynolds for Quaker State. The big Q stands for quality. Always has, always will. You know, when it comes to protecting against friction, nothing beats Quaker State. When it comes to protecting against viscosity breakdown, nothing beats Quaker State. When it comes to keeping engines clean, nothing beats Quaker State. Take it from me, for unbeatable protection, nothing beats Quaker State. It's one tough motor oil. Once you discover that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes have always been fat-free, you may find they taste even better. Mm. <laughs> fat-free Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're great! Hey, I'm vain. Of course I'm vain. That's why I comb my hair the way I do. I stay in shape the way I do. That's why I use Power Stick. 50% more wetness and odor fighters per stroke. Power Stick by Fabergé. Power that won't let you down. I told you I was vain. National powers collide when Duke battles ACC rival North Carolina. Or other regional action tips off a college basketball doubleheader Sunday on ABC Sports. Yes, the King of the Hill match is special. Trying to dethrone the King is yep. another Williams. Walter Ray, and they keep talking. I think he's trying to psych the king right out of his seat. Well, he might be. Walter Ray's tough, but Ron Williams has put up with a lot of players in the last two months, and he knows the job ahead of him. Hey! Oh, no. A ten pin. Randy Peterson is ready. Whoop, well, not yet. Randy, get ready. Okay, he's ready, but we have it. Here's a cross lane shot for the ten pin. There. Okay, Randy. Oh, come on. Randy, take it away. John, a former King of the Hill participant, Walter obviously on an emotional high after winning the tournament. What do you think he has to do to win this final match? Well, I think he's got to keep hitting the pocket. Looks like he's got the pocket lined up pretty good, better than Ronnie. If he keeps hitting the pocket, I think he's going to throw a triple and pull him away. I agree. However, John Maz and Randy Peterson, you got to take into account some bad shots man. by Walter Ray all of a sudden here. He just missed about three boards left, and as all of us know, Walter's the dead-eye accurate, and uh, he's letting Ron Williams at least have a chance in this match, and I agreed with you. I thought he would blow him away, but not that way after five frames. Well, Walter Ray has the championship in his pocket. Ron Williams has only bowled one game on this championship pair, this King of the Hill pair during the tournament, and bowled a dismal 157, and he doesn't look like he's headed anywhere better than that right now. He needs to get some things going. Here, baby. Yeah. Nice shot. Come on. I bet Bonnie is saying the same thing, his wife yeah. back in Fort Worth. Well, he can hit the right-hand lane. I watched him in practice. I practiced with him last night. He hit the tight lanes or slick lanes where he could go straight at the pocket. Now, in this lane, if he goes away from the pocket, the ball skids. Right here, he's going to be in this area, and he's going to try to hit between the first and second arrows. Now, if he bellies the ball, it gives it room that slides by. If he gets soft, it goes high. He needs to just throw a rocket right here. And that's what he did. You see him come out of his shoes on that shot. All right. Watch him just come out of his shoes going for speed. The game is on. Man. For the moment, 
it didn't last too long, but what do we do here, Nelson? Ball left of the four pin, driving into the nine. The momentum has changed. Walter Ray, the best spare shooter on the tour. Let's see if he can make it. Come on! Oh, yeah. Williams is trying to cool him down with a towel. Gee. Nice gesture by Ron Williams as he gave a high five to Walter Ray for converting that tough split there in a critical situation. <laughs> now, Walter Ray's with it. For a while it looked like, well, a little nonchalant. Now, Ron. Ron William needs to throw the rocket shot right in this area and increase his lead to 20 pins. Very important shot for him. <laughs> From Cahokia, Illinois. Chris Shanko, is he a tough match game player or he's what? He's a riverboat gambler. He's something. You bet. Now he's got to take it one shot at a time. This has got to be his best because this is the, the lane that can undo that lead. Look at those eyes. He let the lane take over. He needed to just mm. muscle that ball just like he did in the previous shot. Get the ball to the left of the pin over there. Drive it into the 10. A chance. A low five. Boy, just uh, nips hmm. the two pin. If he has, catches a little four, he drives it into the 10, and he has shot new life into Walter Ray Williams Jr., who can take the lead here in the eighth with a strike. That shot by the man who knows better than anybody in the world what close means being a five-time world horseshoe That's pitching enough. champion. Ball slides oh by the head pin, leaving the two, five, eight, a very difficult spare. However, want to shoot this? Williams, now he's asking himself, how do I want to shoot it? Hook it or throw it straight? I think he's opted to go straight at Come it. Come on, get three. <laughs> Chris, a quick opinion by you. You've been around sports for years mm -hmm. and years, and yet you've seen a, kind of a phenomenon in Ron Williams. Nobody be able to mount a challenge against him after winning the title. What's happening? I don't know. He's sort of the Miller Barber. Bowling. Back up, back up. Unorthodox swing. Competitive spirit, second to none. Well, as, as we always say, made of the right stuff. <laughs> <One of those. laughs> I agree. Down to crunch time. Two frames left, only six pins. Ninth and tenth frame for Ron Williams. Go said it when I let it go. I knew it was a ring and ten. I wish I knew how he knew that. Looked like a pretty good shot. Spare here. He'll lead by six pins going into the tenth. Whoa! Mm. Nearly went over the line, sticking. Well, we have synthetic approaches there, huh? here. And every once in a while, you get your foot wow. caught in the seam. There's seams in these approaches. They're hard like to see league. where the approaches are laid down, and he gets Shoot. his left foot caught in that seam. You see him kind of slip Leading underneath grace. it. A lot of players complained about that that have a long slide. However, he made the spare thanks to good lineup, good arm swing, and now he's down in a position of a 10th frame with a 6-pin lead. Got seven. Spare strike 197 for Ron Williams would force Walter Ray Williams 
to throw a strike in the tenth for all the money. Get them all. Better go out and practice my buckets this week. Yeah, a little solid chop. What was the score here? Down to three. This first one. Run. Looks to the scoreboard on the side. Strike would be 197. Walter Ray must strike to win the King of the Hill title. Well, that does change it. I never thought he'd throw a bad shot like that, Chris. Here's the deal. Walter Ray Williams Jr. with a spare strike or strike on the first ball dethrones Ron Williams. 193 is the score to beat. Williams going at a 194 pace. The 1986 player of the year, Walter Ray Williams Jr. Ron Williams, the king, just did not have it this week. 82nd in the tournament, 157 on this pair in tournament play, and struggled in this match. He's had quite a day in Erie, Pennsylvania, not so for Ron Williams. And Ron Williams will not be back next week. He has told me he's taking a week off as we head to Baltimore. Uh, he was presuming he'd win this match. However, he's going to get a full week off, and he'll be at the Johnny Petraglia. And remember, Ron Williams, 6 and 2, King of the Hill. All right. Williams wins the flagship city open and is the new king. I really didn't want my husband to color his gray hair. But then I discovered this, the hair coloring called Just For Men. And now he looks better than ever. Simply apply Just For Men and in five minutes rinse. Just For Men blends away the gray for a totally natural look. No wonder eight out of ten women prefer the Just For Men look to the gray look. It's like you took off ten years. And in just five minutes. Just For Men. She'll love the way you look. You know those credit card commercials where they tell you to jaunt off to someplace with crystal clear water and really strange fruit? Don't bother packing because you can charge everything once you get there. This isn't one of them, okay? Any decent credit card can do that. We're taking our MasterCard to the supermarket. How's that for exotic? Well, now that you mention it, I guess it is kind of exotic. I mean, you've got a MasterCard, they've got the fruit, right? What's a kumquat? Whatever it is, they're five or a quarter. You want crystal clear water? They have aisles of it. And now, no card is more accepted on the planet, including supermarkets. So you don't have to worry about exact change or losing your receipt or whether you even remember to record how much your check was for in the first place. It's just another smart way you can use your MasterCard. Only when you get your statement, you don't have a conniption. You just have a record of your grocery spending for the month. And a couple kumquats. MasterCard. It's more than a credit card. It's smart money. I wasn't due for another two weeks. Suddenly there I was, having a cesarean. David was wonderful. And when it was all over, I had this perfect little person. And a lot of pain. Later I was kind of surprised when the doctor gave me Tylenol. With all the other choices they have, but the Tylenol made me feel better. So I could put my mind on more important things. Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. Okay, there you see what happened today. We have a new king. King Ron is gone, King Walter Ray. And that's what Walter Ray has earned today. 30 plus five for the king, Mazda second, so forth. Congratulations, young man. Thank you, it's been a long time. <laughs> Way overdue, I think. <laughs> well, Nancy and George Warren, our hosts here, have some spoils of victory. Uh, Nancy, what do you have in your hand? I've got all the money. <laughs> Ladies are like that. Walter Ray, I got two checks here for you. One for thirty thousand and one for five thousand. Been a long time. Congratulations. There you Thank go. you. Okay, George. Well, Walter, 
I know you've been here three times, and I, like I told you earlier, the third time's a charm, and you deserved it. You're both great all week. Congratulations. Thanks, George. It's great to ball here in the area. They got about the best fans in the world, and they supported everybody all week, and I was really happy when they were supporting me when I was throwing those strikes. Thank you. <laughs> have you, um, Walter, have you pitched horseshoes here ever? Yeah, we had, I had a horseshoe tournament here a couple of years ago, and, and I won that tournament. I won $3,500 there, so Bullen pays a little more. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Nelson Burton, my colleague, is off to my left with someone to talk to. Let's join him. Thank you, Chris. The King, Ron Williams, uh, is it all over for the rest of the year, or do you think he can come back in the Johnny Petraglia? Well, I hope so, Bo. I mean, did it once, and never know you can poss might possibly be able to do it again. And looking forward to it. It just wasn't in the cards here, Ron. We could watch you. I practiced with you for over an hour last night, and speed control was the big problem. Yeah, I, I was having problems with my foot control, my feet speed, and I was going too fast and just uh, just couldn't slow it down. Just didn't do it today. He's very tough. He's won over two hundred thousand dollars, and back to the new champion and you, Chris. A rejuvenated Walter Ray Williams Jr. As I said, nineteen eighty-six Player of the Year. I think you're going to give it a shot again this year. I'm bowling uh, about as well as I did in 86. If I can get a couple more TV appearances and win a few more tournaments, I'll give Ron a run for the year. <laughs> he does look like a young Errol Flynn, doesn't he? <laughs> Not bad, you know. Congratulations, King. We'll see you in Baltimore next week. Okay, for Nelson Burton Jr. and our entire ABC sports crew in Erie, this is Chris Shankel. So long. Congratulations again, Walter. The Professional Bowlers Tour has been brought to you by the makers of Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. By Just for Men, the leader in men's hair coloring, blends away gray in five minutes. And by Quaker State, the big Q is Juan Tough Motor Oil. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, Quaker State Professional Boxing presents the network premiere of one of heavyweight boxing's greatest title fights, the battle between Riddick Bowe and a Vander Holyfield, plus the Santa Anita Handicap and the start of the Iditarod. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television. <laughs>